Uh, fellow Kenyans, as we come to the end of 2019, which also marks the end of the second decade of the 21st century, I convey to all Kenyans at home and abroad, to all our brothers and sisters in East Africa, and to all our brothers and sisters across the African continent, and indeed to all across the globe, the very best wishes from my family and from my government as we usher in the new year 2020. The end of a year and the beginning of a new one provides us all with an opportunity for reflection and introspection, as well as to plan. Most importantly, it is a time to give thanks to the Almighty God for the gift of life and for his care and provision to all of us. Fellow Kenyans, the decade that is coming to a close has been one of great significance to Kenyans. Our country has undergone the most consequential transformation since the dawn of our republic by ushering in a new constitutional order as well as successfully implementing a devolved structure of governance. And we continue, as a people, to make steady progress in areas of education, healthcare, food security, nutrition, infrastructure, renewable energy, defense and security, industrialization, amongst many others. In addition, we have also laid the foundation for an enduring prosperity within a much happier and indeed more cohesive Kenya. Looking back at 2019, while we must also accept that it was not without its challenges, I believe we can take pride in the extent to which we have made progress towards the full attainment of our national aspirations as espoused by our constitution, the Kenya Vision 2030, and indeed as focused through our big four agenda pillars of food security, affordable housing, universal health coverage, and job creation through manufacturing. My administration has committed to addressing the challenges of unemployment, poverty, hunger, inequality, and poor health. In 2019, we experienced God's bountiful provision as our country's profile continued to soar through the world-beating performances of our sports people, groundbreaking, groundbreaking research findings and innovations by our scientists and researchers, our much improved rankings in the World Bank's Ease of Doing Business Index, and our fight for environmental protection and renewable energy, as well as our fight against corruption. Our leadership in areas of international peace and diplomacy, and our recognized position as the continental leader in education, as evidenced through the 100% transition from primary to secondary school. Fellow Kenyans, as we look back on the achievements and milestones met in 2019, 
I also know that there are those amongst us who have had a very difficult year, either economically or through personal tragedies and loss of loved ones, or those of us who are battling illnesses. To you, my brothers and sisters, it is my hope and prayer that the new year will usher in better days for you and indeed for all of us. Fellow Kenyans, even as we accept that despite our progress, there are still challenges that we must overcome. True as this may be, so too is it true that the remedy cannot be recrimination and confrontation. Kenyans are all too familiar with the result of that way of doing business. It must be clear to all of us that as a country, we cannot preach and sell negativity while at the same time pray to create and hope for opportunity. By us together accepting our challenges, this should rather form the basis, not for division, but rather as a clarion call of how we must come together in order to turn our challenge and adversity to opportunity and prosperity. In the year 2020, we will continue to make Kenya a better nation for all her people as we build bridges of brotherhood among our people by weaving a stronger fabric of patriotism and nationhood. A key aspect of this quest will be anchored under the Building Bridges Initiative, a process that is aimed at comprehensively addressing both historical and emerging national challenges. This new year, and indeed this new decade that begins, presents our nation with tremendous opportunities to foster unity, prosperity, positive social change, and the deepening of our democratic gains, as well as enhancing the rule of law. These opportunities will require unity, commitment, bipartisanship, for us to be successful in our quest to enhance especially intergenerational equity. In the new decade, we are called upon to put aside partisan differences, ethnic and cultural blinkers, social as well as religious divides, and live as one nation and one people, bound by one common vision. It is indeed my sincere hope and prayer that in the new year, all Kenyans will come together and rally around our shared aspirations for a better Kenya. On my part as your president, I will continue to foster an environment of unity, constructive political engagement, tolerance, and the facilitation of participation by all Kenyans. Fellow Kenyans, the seed of greatness are in each and every one of us, men and women, young and old. Let us water these seeds with the sweat of our brows and our commitment to Kenya as well as our commitment to each other. In this way, we may achieve our individual as well 
as our national aspirations. I have no doubt that we have it within us to make 2020 the most successful year in our nation's history. I urge every Kenyan to commit to making 2020 a great year at your own personal, individual level, at your community level, at a county level, and at the national level. As I conclude, I would like to commend, as well as highlight, the dedicated service rendered to our country and people by our valiant Kenya Defense Forces serving at home and abroad. The National Police Service men and women who maintain safety, law and order amongst our communities. And indeed, the dedicated men and women of our public service, our teachers, our doctors, our nurses, and all other cadres of Kenyans who diligently serve our country. Our farmers, our businessmen and women, our athletes, our artisans, artists, our clergy. I take this opportunity to thank you all and pray for God's continued blessings and protection. Fellow Kenyans, as we exit the festive season, and indeed on behalf of Margaret and our entire family, and on behalf of the government of Kenya, I wish you all a happy and prosperous 2020 filled with divine providence and protection in all that you do. May God bless you all and may God continue to bless the Republic of Kenya.